What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, out here, going crab fishing. We've got some crab nets in the boat. Devin's here. Something a little bit different. We're not in Devin's boat today. Not we're my in, boat. Not Devin's boat. We're in our buddy Charlie's boat. He owns uh, Hicks Marine Fabrication. He did the polling tower on my boat. Awesome guy. Yeah. Really knowledgeable. You guys should definitely check him out if you need boat work done. He hand built this whole boat by himself. This boat is absolutely amazing. So if you're in the looks for like a super, super nice boat, It'll probably cost you a little, but these boats are completely badass boats. Yeah, or if you need any fabrication work done, he builds lots of cabins for lots of guys here locally in the bay. So I'll take some shots here so you guys can see what that looks like, but it's really phenomenal work. We got the crab hoop nets down here. And then actually from our, one of our last videos, we took a bunch of our albacore heads. We have them here, a bunch of albacore carcasses. We're going to send them down. I want to try and put a GoPro down there to see if we can get the crabs going in the hoop nets and then maybe get on some rockfish. Alright you guys, we're chopping up some albacore scrap from our last trip. We're going to load up these bags, we got 10 of them. Set them down in the bottom of the conical trap. Drop them in about 80 to 150 feet of water and we'll see what happens. Right now we're pushing through, I think we got 8 foot swells every 10 seconds. The wind's going to be picking up later, but on this boat, it's like a Cadillac. Old albacore heads. We got all the tuna heads in the bags right now. Been ready to drop them in the pots. Put it up here. Put it up there. Right here, we're pulling up our first crab net. And if you look at the top right, you can see me puking off the back of the boat. It was not optimal conditions out in the ocean. We had about an eight to 10 foot swell. I'm pretty prone to seasickness. Our first crab net here did have quite a bit of crab. Two. Store-bought. That's store-bought. That, uh, that one's probably a short. This one, that one's a short. Three. Three big ones. That's not good. So this is the male crab. The female crab, they come out wider and more of a rounded point. Gap behind you. There we go. Yes, yeah, store bots. One, two, three, four, four keepers out that one. This is on the head. Oh, that one's hard, yeah. It was good. Oh, it's hard. Little one right here. Gap above your head. Got a couple in this yeah, one. This is bad. Yeah, couple good ones. At least three good ones. Oh yeah, three good ones. Good. This one looks like it's got a couple. It's got a um, few. Oh yeah, it's got some for sure. Oh yeah, it's pretty good. Jumbos too. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's oh, there we go. That is loaded. Seventeen. That one was good. Yeah. Twenty. Twenty. That one had yeah. eight keepers in it. There we go. Oh, 
Not one fell. 21 right in the bucket. Give me the gas. Watch it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what we want. <laughs> that will work. Let's dump this one right here. And that's got the GoPro on it. That's kind of good. The one with the GoPro. Gotta be five and three quarter. This one here is. Yeah, sir. Is right, dressed right there. 23. 23. 24. 24. Good one down there. Yeah, he's a keeper for sure. That's a big one right there. Yeah. Way good. Yeah. You're way. only going to this. Yeah, this is way good. It's a big one right here. On right, next spot, a bunch of small ones right here. These guys go. He'll keep. Way good. Yeah. So we're not looking for the dirty crabs or the soft shell crabs because they just don't eat as good. Yeah, find you. Oh yeah. Deep color. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. You got a couple of keeps in there. That's a keep. Yeah, he's a keep. 26. Oh, look at the rock crab. He's so good. Oh, yeah. Gaff. Our first couple pulls on our nets were pretty good, but then all of a sudden, things changed. Gotta roll some cool B-roll. Look at all those crabs, boys. Got jumbos in there. This is the spot. Look at all that. Look at that one. It's a giant. 43. Oh, this is heavy. This looks like a heavy one. Oh, look at this one. There we go. Oh my gosh, look at this one. Oh yeah! Yo. Straight stack. Get pictures of that, dude. Where's my phone? I've been behind the camera and I've been puking all morning, but that's all right. Definitely got a limited crab, and that was pretty quick. Well, boys and girls, we could have had limits for eight people, but we had to throw back some jumbo. Yeah, once you have your limit, you got to dump them all back, and so we're pulling in the rest of the. Hoop nets right now. Probably got limit for 10 people, honestly. So we got our five man limit of crab pretty quickly in about 45 minutes to an hour's worth of time. Right after that, we headed to go catch some rockfish. Honestly, because of the ocean conditions, it was really tough for me to try and fish and or film. So I'm just going to pop up a little clip right here. We probably caught 12 rockfish in total. No big ones, just some taco fish. Just made it back to land. That is where we're going to wrap things up today. We caught a bunch of crab and we caught some rockfish at the end of the video. I'll throw some footage up right here. But caught some small ones. I puked all day long. So we're going to wrap things up here. We're going to make this crab at home. Stay tuned for the next video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time.